Greetings, Phoenix fans. The future editing version of David Sanders here again to welcome you back to my beginner's guide to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. As I explained at the rather abrupt end of last episode, I have decided upon talking with some colleagues of mine to do my best to make this series more digestible for especially those of you who might just be starting out with Civ VI, for whom this guide is mostly meant. Because if I were in your position, I know I wouldn't necessarily want to sit down and watch a guide that takes an hour or two per episode to get anywhere. So, I uh, have elected to start this episode at a different point than I normally would, and have elected to also forego my normal intro. So, uh, this will basically be the same for every episode in this guide, and uh, that's basically it. So. On with the show! Alright, we can make spies now, which is cool. So I'm gonna go to Australia, see if I can get a, an embassy with them. Sweet. Uh, okay, how about you? Alright, screw you then. America, perhaps? Alright, screw you too. I'll just go play with my friend Australia. Alright, uh, humanism it is. We have literally one military unit right now as Rome, which is not great. Alright, we got... Ooh, we've got slots for a lot of trade routes, actually. So we'll send you back there. Uh, we'll get a library going in this city, and then walls. And then an entertainment complex there. Then an industrial zone right there, because we don't need that stone. Don't judge someone until you've stood at his forge and worked with his hammer. That sounds naughty. Okay, so square rigging, because we're going to forget about it. Unless we get it now, because I never build navies, like I said earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna go send you guys to settle right there. Before Macedon can claim all the good land. Alright, so we got armory, bank, amphitheater. Can we even build the Forbidden City anywhere good? Eh. We can put it right there, I guess. It's going to take forever, but... Ooh. Okay. You got a deal. What wonders have been built? Alhambra and that one. Okay, we don't need either of those. Alright, trade route to Philadelphia. Alright, send you guys there. Hmm. Alright, so you guys are gonna settle right there. And then... We'll have to find somewhere else for you guys to settle. Like, I don't know, right there-ish? Alright, so in this city, we're going to start by buying one of those, and a unit of builders, and then, ah, what the heck, a trade or two. Then we're going to start with walls, then a theater square right there, then a commercial hub there. Okay, and then a water mill. Wow, we're really lacking in culture, aren't we? Sorry, Macedon, I knew that would upset you, but, like, I had to settle. It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. Alright. 
So you guys are going to start constructing improvements left and right. Plantation. Okay. Going to send you to Rome. And then we're going to get mass production, because that's only going to take three turns, and we probably should have gotten it by now. Alexander's denounced me again. Ooh, okay. Coffee in exchange for diamonds. You got it. Characteristics of humanism are curiosity. What does that do? Free okay. mind, belief in good taste, and belief in the human race. All right. Hmm. We don't need that anymore, so we're gonna swap that out, put that there, and then start working on great engineer points because great engineers are very useful. Okay. Uh. And then you guys are gonna... Hmm. You guys are gonna go over there and start building more improvements. So let's get some farms going. Alright, let's get the Enlightenment Civic. Okay. So let's go up here, build a lumber mill to increase our production output. We really ought to get a theater square going. So let's put it there. And then build a bank in the meantime. Or after that, I mean. What can be labeled packaged. Alright, so. Lumber mill gives us plus one production. Can only be built on tiles with rainforest or woods, I believe, because, you know, lumber. Alright, industrialization sounds fun. Alright, you guys are gonna make a farm. You guys are gonna make another farm. You guys are gonna go make a pasture. Okay. So, farm. Down there. And then we're gonna send you guys there to become suzerain of that city-state, which is nice. Macedon earned a great artist, that's fine. Alright, you guys are gonna come down... Actually, you guys are gonna go over there. You're gonna make a pasture. What unit needs orders? You guys, okay. Uh, you've only got one build charge left, so... Go make a farm. Okay, so... Farm. Alright, where are we settling? Let's settle right there. That's gonna upset America, but hopefully they won't go to war with us over it. Alright, let's do this. Boop. Oh, hey, we've already got a road and everything. Okay, so buy one of those and one of those and then get Siege Tactics as our next tech. Start with walls and then a harbor there. Then an entertainment complex there. And then we'll see what happens. Sorry about that, America. I knew that would upset you. Whatever is contrary to nature is contrary. Okay. We're just gonna repeat that trade route. And then we're gonna make farms and plantations and whatnot. Alright, let's get 
Let's get exploration, even though we're probably not going to switch to a Merchant Republic-style government. Alright, so we've completed our holy site in this city, so we need a shrine, then a university. Then a theater square. There. No. There. Okay. I should really have a spy by now. I should probably rectify that. So, farm. You guys need orders, so farm. All these farms. Farming and whatnot. Okay. So. Ooh, we can build that. So let's do that. Just in case. Wait, what does that even do? Okay. Great engineers have... An additional charge, that's always nice. In case we actually no get any great engineers. Alright, scientific theory. Then Rome is going to make a spy. And then an amphitheater. And then... Can't put the Forbidden City anywhere good without destroying a farm, so walls. And then, what the heck, another traitor. Then some musket men, just to help defend our city, in case America gets any ideas. Plantation. Alright, so I'm suzerain, or suzerain of both of those city-states, so let's start working on the one I'm not suzerain of. Claims that cannot be tested. We shall not cease from exploring. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Flight it is. And then for our next civic, we shall get nationalism, because that's what our military advisor recommends. We're not going to switch governments. And uh, then in this city, we're going to go see if we can... We can buy that tile of coal. Outstanding. So we're gonna... We can't even afford a builder anymore, but that's fine. We will be able to after we finish this bank. Alright, that got us the Eureka for economics, which is great. Doing pretty well on gold per turn, I'd say. Alexander, shut up. Alright, we've got a spy, so let me show you how this works real quick before I end the video. I could either send this spy to any of my cities to do what's called counter-spying, or I could send it to another civ to learn about them, gain more diplomatic visibility, and in certain ways, even sabotage them. I'll, that'll have to wait until I get another spy, unfortunately, because I want Rome protected by a counter-spy operation. In the commercial hub specifically, what do we got? Okay. Don't really need a great general right now, so I'm just gonna retire him to gain the two envoys. And then next time I get envoys, I'll be Probably suzerain of that city-state as well. Uh, what's that about? Uh-huh. So our... I presume it was our spy that caught that American spy. Either that or that American spy is just dumb enough to get caught without a spy in that city. So, America is probably going to want that spy back, but the power is in our hands whether or not to give it to them. The ball is very much in our court. See what I mean? Actually, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, why not? Your spy's name is Temperance? What is wrong with you, America? Alright. Have we converted? 
Washington is not yet following our religion, so I say we uh, buy some missionaries to help along the process. Convince them to follow the ways of the Holy Light. Okay, we can definitely put that there. If no one else builds it before we do. Alright, we got flight, so we're in the modern era. Right around 1908 AD. I just researched one flight, dude. Give flight. me some give me some time here. Alright, so oops, didn't mean to click that. Although sweet, we have an American embassy now. Or an embassy in America's capital, I mean, but you get the point. You guys um Yeah, you guys can also go to Washington to spread the good word. Alright. So we will continue this trade route. And then we're gonna get economics, because Big Ben. And let's just let this wonder finish in four turns before I end the video, I think. I know it's gone on pretty long as it is, but hopefully it won't be too much longer. Alright. We are now suzerain of all three city-states we've met, which is nice. Alright, you guys are gonna spread the good word next turn. Alright, Alexander denounced me again, that's probably fine. Alright. Where am I sending this trade route? Eh, why not? Alright, lads, start spreading the holy light. Hey, we did it. So I believe... No, that's not all of America's cities, because they've got two more that aren't following our religion. But we will fix that. Economics is a subject that does not greatly respect one's wishes. It is nationalism which engenders nations, and not the other way around. Alright. So now that Washington is following the Holy Light, you guys are going to come down to... What do you guys want? Oh, religious conversion. Well, that works out wonderfully. So you guys are going to Geneva, you're going to New York. Then we're getting... Sanitation is our next civ, because that'll help, or our next, uh, tech, I mean, because that'll help with our housing situation. Scorched Earth is our next civic. She did the shake at me. Alright, so we finally met Greece. I don't know where they are on the map, but we didn't have to deal with them for a while. Tomb lies over me in Halicarnassus. Of such dimensions, of such exquisite beauty, as no other shade can boast. Alright, so we got that, which is really nice. Because now that gives our great engineers an extra charge if we ever get any. And no one else can have it. Alright, so we're gonna have you renew your mission. Alright, you're gonna build some renaissance walls to help with your housing situation. Then a lighthouse, then a university, then an arena. And then... Hmm. Then a spy. Yeah. Okay, so... As I promised, we've built the wonder we were working on, so now I feel justified in ending the video here. So, I hope you'll join me for the rest of this Civilization VI guide. I hope you're having as much fun watching it and learning from it as I am having making it. You've been watching Phoenix Gaming. My name is once again David Sanders, and always remember, this channel is nothing without the viewership and support of fans just like you. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.